everyone in this video I'm going to quickly show you how you can create a custom master slide using Microsoft PowerPoint. Now Microsoft PowerPoint already has quite a few different designs inbuilt in it so you may not need to make a custom master slide because there really is lots already there. So if you click on the design tab um, you will see that there are many options for how you may want the, the sort of design of your presentation to look so maybe we'll click on that one so when you choose one of the sort of themes if you go over here there are different variants to the themes so you can click on that as a variant you can click into the colors and have um, different color variants to go with that particular theme and um, there are other things in here as well such as design ideas and you can scroll through there and there are different ways to sort of set out and present um, your design all inbuilt into Microsoft PowerPoint and then when you go back to the home and you click on new slide um, again you know you could choose a different there we go so we could have like um, part of the design ideas all sort of consistent with with all the slides consistently working together that's all built in with Microsoft PowerPoint and um, there are far more um, themes, variations and design ideas in PowerPoint than there are in Google Slides. Um, but what if you wanted to create a completely custom um, master slide that you can use for your project? So I'm just going to go back in time a little bit, go back, go back, go back and go back to this. Uh, the way you do that is by going to View, Slide Master and in here you need to scroll up and click on the top one you can now create your very own theme your very own um, design that's going to appear on every single slide and make it consistent the first thing you'll need to do is set your background so you can right click and format background you can choose from a solid fill color and change the color in there there are more colors you know literally every color of imaginable is in there or you could have a gradient um, you can choose what colors you want for each of your gradient stops if you click on one of those stops you can then change the color of that stop and um, go go easy on gradients though don't go crazy with them because they can be a little bit distracting um, and prevent your users from being able to read the information so do do be careful or you can choose a picture or a texture okay so you can choose a picture of your own choice so there's different textures in there so you can have different textures again be careful with choosing some of these because they, they can look a little bit unprofessional or you can insert um, a picture um, and you know something that you've maybe created yourself or something you've downloaded there's some really nice background pictures on pixabay if you type in background images on pixabay um, you know or you could have something that you've made yourself and made this in photopea Okay, so once you're happy with that, you can then faff about with some of the other items on there. For example, um, I'm going to make the background of my title um, uh, a particular colour. I actually quite like that pink. Or I should change it to maybe yellow. Um, and again, maybe this one, I'm going to have a solid fill. But I'm going to make this one a little bit transparent so that you can sort of see some of those splashes in there. In here you can change the style of the font. Now it's important to understand that the font style is all you're changing here, the size and the style. You don't start typing. This is not where you create your presentation. This is where you choose your um, fonts and styles. Okay, so I'm going to choose, go back to my home tab and I'm going to choose a particular font style that, that I like. Um, and if I'm because I'm doing it on this top one here that's going to transfer down on all of the different um, variations of slide layouts you can see that they all follow the same theme now, once I'm happy with that I go back to slide master tab and I click on close master view right in here this is where I can add my title and when I add a new slide look what I get I get my theme slide so this is my very own theme that I've created myself and every single slide's going to follow the same theme and if I wanted to change the layout then it has the right theme for that layout. I mean how cool is that? You can really create something very bespoke. Okay everybody have fun!